Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here, here to talk about a, it's going to be more of a demonstration how to add a screen protector to your phone. I know for those of you who've already done this multiple times, you can skip this video, just that my phone screen has seen much better days in that I should say the screen protector, existing one. This is the something of the bullet shield which is sort of flexible writing on it should feel natural with um like paper using a s samsung galaxy s pen stylus as you can see it's 11 37 pm here in kingston jamaica when this is actually being being recorded so on to the interesting part all right so as i was expressing before my phone screen protector has seen far better days if i can get my camera to focus you will see where there are several bubbles during the previous installation process and over the past few weeks pieces of it have been peeling off so might as well put put it out of its misery and just get the job done the right way So this was the screen protector I had on it before. I would say it was pretty good. The installation process didn't go quite great. As you can see, it's very flexible, pliable, stretchable, and all that stuff. Would I buy this one again? No. Toss that in the trash. All right, so we have the naked phone screen. My phone has never been out of the case for more than a day or so since I got it. So we're going to be applying this unit. I don't even know the brand. This thing doesn't even have a brand listed on it. Besides the fact that it was handwritten uh, note 8 here. And this barcode actually does say n8 on it i don't know if it literally means note 8 but let's see what, what's what so this is the unit in the packaging let's open the packaging put that down take this out so pretty simple steps one and two wipe and dry this would be the unit itself, which, how would adhesive part go on this? This looks sort of like a full adhesive as opposed to the surrounding edges, but take a look at that in short order. Let us, since the screen looks relatively clean, I will use the one swab of alcohol. Now, you know what? Let me use, I use my own <clears throat> specific brand of alcohol. This isn't necessarily a Benjamin's prom um, promotion, but let's get rid of any film that may be on the surface. Can't be way too careful. Any previous grease, trying not to do anything too, apply anything too harsh that may remove the anti fingerprint properties of this particular screen. Okay, there was still some residue up top. Ah, 
No Bixby. Bixby. Go away. Okay, so I have a whole lot of residue on the phone now, annoyingly. Pretty annoying. Crap. It's very important to keep the screen very, very clean. Alright, I think this is clean enough, getting nope, nope Fuck. clean right around the edges sorry, with these screen protectors, if you don't get the screen clean you are in a bit of a Cool. When it comes to applying the screen protector, so this process I prefer to take a little longer. Not to bore you all, but all right. So let me capping back the rubbing alcohol. Now start step. No. Step one and two. using this alcohol swab do the process again come on come on come on Quite not still not clean enough. Oh well. Step one, step this step says dry. Nope, 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 this is not acceptable. Uh, the camera no what has happened is that there has been this smudge on the camera lens itself front facing camera which is going to be a problem for any future fo photos taken with the unit so that definitely have to be cleaned up cleaned off and gotten rid of Okay, I think that's Yes, this is going to be as clean as I possibly can get it under the circumstances. You know, this layer here. Okay, I got this.
important to ensure no remnants of anything left on the screen. So remove that. I just had it a while ago. Now I've misplaced screen protector itself. Ah, here we go. Side of the screen there exists this adhesive strip which must be removed oh, this is posing a problem doing it on camera First problem has arisen where it's not a full adhesive screen as originally envisioned. So it's, it's important to press down and allow the edges to form first. And then fingerprint up the outside of this. Shoot, how the, f oh. Yeah, fingerprint is on the, so this is a fingerprint magnet already. Yeah, so this is the finished product. Would I recommend this particular screen protector? Nope. No way, shape, or form. Reason being, it does not actually. It does not actively. It is. Let's see if it's even case friendly. All right. So yes, it is a case friendly design. However, it's a requirement for you to actually have the case. On so that you don't end up peeling up the edges of the screen and of course thus wasting your investment but as immediately shown it is a fingerprint magnet and these fingerprints are on the outside of the screen not the inside because it inside I just put it inside I just peel off this so there would be no there would be no opportunities for fingerprints to get on the inside so again would I recommend this particular product uh, can you get this in focus 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 I think it's more focusing on the cap then Mercedes focusing more on the cap than this product, which does not have, seem to have any form of branding and on the inside, on the inside here. Let us read the specifications. 6D, 9H, blah, blah, blah. Auto nonsense. 
That's all, folks. Have a good day.